Hi everyone, welcome back to another update for my model railroad. Uh, this one will be fairly quick. Uh, there hasn't been an awful lot that's gotten done, you know, life and uh, family. But uh, there are a few things. So I've gotten a little bit more backdrop put up. Still need to get it primed and painted. That will be one of the next steps. Also, as you probably saw in the intro, I had to make a minor adjustment here. Uh, I'd originally hoped that even though it was a little bit sharp that my locomotives would all be okay. Uh, as it turned out, the Intermountain uh, SD42s uh, just didn't quite uh, like it. And they uh, came off the rails. However, I managed to come up with a pretty simple solution. Uh, just reverse which one was going to be the fuel track and which one uh, was going to be the um, track going into the rest of the facility. Well, that does seem to ease it just enough that uh, everything uh, stays on the rails as it's supposed to. So over on this side, the layout's uh, probably where the biggest changes have happened. Uh, thanks to my family, uh, they got me some of, well, the one building you see in front of you and some of the switches and things I needed to complete the industrial area here to the uh, west of the main yard. So if I give it a slow pan here, you can see, I've also been pulling out a bunch more of my rolling stock, trying to actually get it inventory decently. I now have pretty much the entire industrial area with all the track laid. So I'll just give a bit of an overview from the other side here. Uh, so as I mentioned previously, this uh, track layout is based on the Air Lake Industrial Park that's been published in Model Railroader a couple of times. Um, I still have this switch here and some track to get to just finish it off completely. Uh, but I think uh, it's turned out pretty well overall. As you can probably see from all the paper templates, I've been trying to figure out what building kits and stuff will fit in here, make it work without making it look too cluttered. I think the height of the layout is going to help somewhat because um, the buildings aren't going to have to be as deep necessarily to kind of give it a good impression. So this building here is uh, two Rick's The Shop kits. Um, if you've never used Rick's buildings before, uh, they're actually pretty awesome. Uh, they're simple kits, uh, easy to put together, very modular, so you can combine them in whichever ways you need to get the building that you're looking for for an area. Uh, this one in particular is definitely a different configuration than the way they sell it with the office space up at the, up at the front here, uh, more closely modeling what is actually in the Air Lake Industrial Park. It's, it, I'm taking some liberties. It's not the exact same type of building that's there, but um, it's nice to be able to have a kit which gives you that much flexibility. So the town of Sylvan's where I've been putting most of uh, my time in in the last uh, couple of months here. Uh, I've gotten most of the roadway prepped, sanded. Um, maybe it's just because I'm, I'm too picky, too much of a perfectionist, but it, it seems to be taking forever to get it smooth and get all the bubbles out of it. Um, I've got most of that done. I actually just poured today some of the sidewalk and stuff for the continuation. I pan around here. Road now continues all the way down the other side, at least as far as I've got the uh, streetcar track. Um, I am going to need to pick up a little bit more of that ore track to be able to finish that off before I can pour the rest of the road, but um, I've been able to get in what I can. And I've also been experimenting with some coloring for the road. I've been using Woodland Scenic's top coat uh, system. Uh, straight out of the bottle, the, the asphalt's too dark for my taste. It's, it's like a really brand new asphalt. Uh, so I've been actually just cutting it down with some of the uh, the concrete color that they have. Um, 
I think I'm getting there. I think I might need to make it a little bit lighter than what it is right now. Um, but I've, I've done a couple of the uh, small sections before the track to uh, kind of try it out and see what I, I like. I like looking down this way because it's uh, starting to give me a little bit of hope that there might be one complete scene. It's nice now that I've got some more of the road done that you can actually kind of look through the entire scene and uh, it looks more complete. So as I've uh, been mo making progress on it, I've set in some of the buildings just to kind of see how they're going to fit. Uh, this on the corner here is uh, just a dollar store foam board. And I'm going to use some uh, window tinting and some uh, chart tape and try to make it look like a modern uh, skyscraper. It's a convenient way of hiding the pillar and um, I'm hoping that with some very simple techniques uh, that I can make it look pretty good. I will probably make a video of that when I get around to tackling it. Well, I hope you enjoyed my model railroad update video. If you did, please like and subscribe. Uh, I'd love to hear any comments or suggestions uh, in the comment section down below. And you can also follow me on Twitter and Instagram. And until next time, keep tinkering.